Welcome back to MLB Nine Innings. First, we have Team Select, a pack for the Astros team. I'm really hoping for Bregman, 19. Let's see. No, not as bad as some of the other ones, but let's see. Gonzalez, I have him twice. <laughs> All right. Let's let's continue open some of these um, team select packs. So, doing a short video today. Got a few packs to open. Um, got some stats to look at. Basically, we're gonna have so much going on in about a week between the team select pack, between. Um, the GI's skill change tickets. I have like 400 packs between both teams to open. So um, I know those videos could get pretty long. So I'm trying to um, do a little bit of the video now. The first thing that's going to drop is a bunch of vintage combos. Uh, hunting for diamonds. So... Uh, that'll, that'll go down on Friday and then we'll see when team select packs will drop. I think by next Monday they'll be around and the new team. So I got all the, the team select diamonds for the Mets team. So got a lot of material, just been waiting time. All right. That's enough. Nothing there. All right, what else? Let's, oh, we got a SIG pack to open. We, because we bought the, um, off camera, but we bought the um, skill change tickets. So definitely want to you get those skill change tickets, even though it's not double mileage. It'll be gone by the time double mileage ends. I don't think I'm going to get an Astro here. I don't think I'll be that lucky. Nope. Ace. I've at least gotten two free Astros um, SIGs, so I can't complain too much. All right. Um, over here on the Mets, I do want to show a crowning achievement. Drum roll, please. We are at ranked training 80. It's a, been a really, really, really long grind. There's no shortcuts. All right. Lastly, got some vintage packs. See if we can get a legend. If not, we're going to be going for combos. Uh, uh. Nope, nothing. Moving on to the second half of the video, we're going to look at the impact of some of the adjustments we've made over the last few weeks. Um, so times we've retrained or, or reskilled, seeing how that's done. Uh, so on the left, you'll see the Hunley retrain. If you can recall, he's got barrel it up and spotlight. Um, so does uh, Pete Alonzo. Pete Alonzo's crushing it. That's a SIG. Um, crushing it with that skill set. Hunley's underperforming. So we tried to retrain to get his contact up. Um, so you can see on the, the column on the left, that's three weeks of OPS prior to the retrain. And then the column on the right is three weeks post retrain. So I think it's important to compare it to the average here because you have, you know, general ups and downs with your different players. Um, so the average went up a little bit. So did Hunley. Can't say um, the training made any real difference. On the right, uh, we reskilled Derek Bell. We finally got him prediction spotlight up from prediction legend. So there, same thing, OPS in the three weeks prior. And 
in the three weeks afterwards. Average stayed uh, really flat, uh, 812 to 814, yet Bell had a uh, good improvement. Uh, why I did three weeks was to make sure to um, flush out any up condition, down conditions. You're going to get both cycles through there. Um, so anyway, I think that was good. Uh, I wonder what the top skill set is right now. Might be Spotlight Slugger Instinct. Um, that's what Springer has. He's he's raking it. A lot of teams are nerfing Charisma. I think it, in the beginning it was like 50-50 between Boss and Charisma. Now it seems every time um, I play a manual game against a tough team, it's 90% Charisma. It's... Charisma's getting hit hard, so keep that in mind as you're looking for an ideal skill set. Um, what worked six months ago may not work right now. Okay, uh, moving on, we're going to look at um, the pitching performance for the Mets. This is uh, since mid-January, so this is like two months worth of data. Basically trying to see over the long term, uh, where do I put my effort into? So I'm going to get a team select SIG. I'm going to train them up. Then what do I do? You know, there's no glaring hole, you know, obvious in terms of skill set. So looking at the um, performance here, you can really start to see, all right, Diaz probably got to look at Diaz probably his training. I mean, he's got a good, um, he's got some good skills. At least, um, they would be awesome for a starter. Um, not as awesome for a reliever, but it could be his training on the, uh, starting pitcher side, you know, um, maybe, Look at uh, DeGrom trying to get, you know, boss mess or something else. Um, Thor, boss PM, you know, this is underperforming a little bit. So uh, perhaps look at that. Catfish Hunter there in the middle. Um, he doesn't have quite as many starts, so I'm not um, quite as wedded to that number. Uh, Arietta. um has gone in there except, you know, when he's in down condition, but I think they're relatively close. Um, Lugo's the rock star really, uh, shows what the triple skill set can do. Um, so that's sort of the action plan there. And then, uh, we're going to look at some of the pitcher improvements that we did. Remember we had some good impact on, the skill redistribution tickets or the training redistribution tickets for Keuchel and Harris. Um, and Keuchel also got new skills. He has um, dominant pitcher and finesse pitcher um, changed from, it was iron will mess. So a big improvement there dropped a whole point in ERA, uh, now he's really competitive with the SIGs. Um, and Charlie Morton's on his way out as soon as we're able to GI Nolan Ryan. I got um, 50 skill change tickets right now, so uh, hopefully get a good set on him. And Harris, um, he had a pretty good improvement, uh, mostly driven by one week. Um, but still, still a good improvement, not as perfect as I'd have liked, uh, and Presley's the next target. Um, all right, that'll wrap it up. Um, check back Friday for a bunch of vintage combos. So that'll be on the agenda. I got a lot of them to do anyway. Uh, happy grinding later.